And hey there, folks. What's up? Sorry, I didn't get to uh, set this up earlier. A uh, little, little, uh, little tired from yesterday. Had a little date night. And uh, you know what? I think every couple should have a date night, you know? Especially after being about like seven years uh, married, you know? I think that's pretty good. I was really happy, uh, proud of that. You know what I mean? Proud of that. that. That's a good word. That is definitely a good word for it. Um, but yeah, how is everybody doing? Uh, I heard some things. I know, I know there were some updates. So uh, I want to play a couple of videos. And uh, I guess G-Man said something. I, I want to react to that. Uh, only because just the, the, the simple fact that a lot of people were thinking that G-Man must have gave Rev money to must have gave Shannon, uh, must have gave his uncle money, you know, to let them stay in there. Um, from my sources still telling me the house is still off market, but like I keep telling everybody that, um, that can change, you know, that could change at any moment. But, uh, uh, one last thing, uh, before we start, I just want to get into this, um, I would like to, uh, you know, I would like to apologize to my some of my viewers um, for a recent video that I still have on my channel because I'm not going to do that. And, you know, I, if uh, something happens, you know, I want transparency. I want to keep the video up here because I want you guys to know that I'm not perfect, but I do try. And... Um, I tried to tell people that I was taking a break. I wasn't, you know, definitely taking a break and also just staying out of the drama because I just can't right now. It's, it's, you know, it's too much. And I guess to some people, they don't give a crap. And that's why I got upset at a couple of individuals that I thought were um, um, friends of mine, at least. I guess, you know, I was mistaken or they were internet friends, but it, it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. So um, that's where my brain was um, in some of my recent videos, uh, you know, because I was just trying to move on and have fun. And then I'm getting messages saying that I, I've hit kids. I've, I've never struck a child in my life. I've, I am and always will be a child advocate. You know, that's the one thing I am proud of. Um, and I've been doing that since I was 10 years old in the Boy Scouts, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, giving out coats to the homeless, feeding the poor, uh, doing drives. I, I'm actually, I've talked to some people about setting up some sort of a, uh, not a GoFundMe, but like a, uh, I don't know, some sort of like donation and that we all, myself included, to set up for not only Shaney's boys, but any other children that have been abused like this i want to give back a little bit um because i heard some people talking about it and i agree i think that it's a great idea so um i don't know your name something mod mod bitch <laughs> basically you were the uh you were the um the convenience store clerk at the store where rev used to come in all the time and, and be like oh ho, ho, we're, we're youtubers ho, 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 ho. but he didn't tell you that they were uh, child abusers you know and that's definitely not allegedly. So, uh, yeah, if you ever hear any of my videos, please reach out to me. I would love to get involved in uh, giving back because you're absolutely right. And I'm kind of embarrassed I didn't do that sooner. But I would love to give back to uh, those boys so they know that not everybody was just a troll. We were there for them. And I agree. Um, you know, the ultimately, who got those kids out, everybody? the children and i've been saying that since day one if you ever are in a bad situation people mandated reporters can call all day but without the children's testimony as well to say that this stuff is not good it's not kosher what's going on they're unfortunately going to stay in that situation so props to you and like i said um i want to get um i want to get uh set something up so we could put some money um so they know that people were caring about them you know, and we'll make sure it goes to them and not Shani or Rev. And, you know, that's about it. Like I said, I, I'm sorry to some people that, like, saw me just basically defending myself. 
but you know, I hope you understand. Like, I had to bury a 15 year old girl. So, me being a child advocate and understanding that children are innocent victims always, they don't have a say. And me saying I wanted to walk away a little bit, you know, it kind of ticked me off a little bit because I'm like, you can't even wait until this person's like, you know, the body's not even cold yet. <laughs> I hate to use that analogy, but you know, it's true. So I hope people understand that. But that's it. That's that's enough of the heavy stuff. Like I said, I'm going back to just fun streams. I'm not acknowledging anything. I'm not doing a good community tab stupid back and forth I, I don't do that i'm here for fun if you guys want to have fun too this is the place to be because i really 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 need it right now so just to everyone out there all the trolls all the whoever i will not acknowledge you um my my own people will time you out i don't need to do anything and uh in for youtube comments um I don't know if people don't don't know this, but YouTube actually steps in and takes a comment down if they find it uh, very bad. You know, telling me that I should end, I should, I should uh, end myself with my family member who just passed away. You were talking about a 15 year old girl, by the way. That's awful, and I didn't block that comment. YouTube did, and I can't even put that back on if I wanted to because they have it. They. Uh, shaded out the the, uh, the check mark so you can't even but like seriously telling me to unalive myself in a comment section it's just just have like just chill out and have fun okay but that that's it that that's that's all that's 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 all for for that let's have fun guys and you know i love you all i miss you and uh, again shout out to china one of the best discords around um you know, I'll just leave it at that. Shout out to China and all the cool people in China. You guys rock. Well, let's, uh, let me see who's here before I start uh, the video. Waiting for karma. What's up? Thank you for uh, being first. Sarah, how you doing, Sarah? Boo, what's up, boo? Hey, boo, did you see uh, my member stream I did? Um, you're, a, you're a member, right? I just did one and it was really fun. And we, we looked at some co uh, case cooking streams. I might... I might put them up, um, um, or, or what else? Guys, sorry, excuse me. I might do more publicly. You know, uh, the member streams are a lot, a lot of fun. They've been popping off. So, uh, you know, I'll just say that. But um, you know, the the I thought Shani's cooking was bad. <laughs> but again, you know, no no hate to Case cooking. But uh, you know, she has like a, you know. A lot more views than Shani ever did, like a million views, two million views. I mean, of course, the food looks disgusting, but hey, who am I to say? <laughs> lovely Lori, how lovely for you to be here. What is up? Ravenstar, what's up? Watering my garden. Wow, okay. That's what's up. You know, everyone always says do it at night um, because it makes the, uh, I guess, grass don't burn. You know, if you do it in the daytime, it can burn for some reason. Hey, Mousy, how are you doing? And yes, you guys already got the, the heist game going. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Richie, uh, Rugs, uh, what's up? Hello, June, what's up? And yes, thank you. Me too, Lovey Lord. But like I said, you know, I just wanted some of my my people that to know. And you know, it's in my Discord, in my in my paid Discord. Very important that I put that out, and it's been like that for years. Um, the people in there are so cool and so supportive of me, and I never have to be a fool publicly online because they will all come up, and we all have chats, and it's great, you know. But um, death really messes with me you know i've already had one really bad one that changed my the, my whole way of thinking and this one you know it's also kind of a shock but um you know i just sometimes when things happen i need time and i'm just surprised that people there's people on this platform that lost a loved one and i was there that day um saying to them hey if you ever need to talk i'm here for you you're my buddy 
but sometimes uh, I don't get that reciprocated from the same people that I try to be there for them. So, you know, I guess it is what it is. You know, I think some people just want to be part of, of the what's going on train without even looking into it. But like Dragnot always says, there's always two sides to every story. And you know what? I agree with him on that one. Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lori. But that's okay. Like I said, I just want to explain for some people, like, you know, I'm a human being. I make mistakes, you know, I make mistakes, but, you know, I would, I, I am going to defend myself, you know what I mean? But for a while, uh, because my family really needs it right now, I'm just going to be, you know, have fun streams and make you guys laugh, you know, because I love making you guys laugh. Oh, and what's up to the PayPal people and the Cash App people? You guys rock. Thank you for keeping this channel going because without you guys, because I really don't make, you know, a lot, you know, through monetization here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your donations. You guys are just really, really awesome. And, you know, I just really, really appreciate it. I don't know what I would. I really don't know what I do without you. Hello. Oh, yeah. I said hello to you. Good I'm, uh, <laughs> well, you know, you, you, you try to win back with the complimentary drinks, right? I think uh, I put in 40, I put in $50 and I got $5 back. I was up $35, but then um, it kind of went down. But, you know, um, the experience is good enough for me. And like I said, I, tr I tried to win back uh, through the complimentary drinks, but now they can only give you one drink every 30 minutes. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yes, you're a member. All right. Well, if you didn't check it out, uh, I did do a members the other day. You should check it out. It was, we had, a, we had fun. Hey, what's up, Rice and Beans? How you doing, bro? Rice and Beans is cool, guys. Uh, I, I love his comments. Really cool dude. All right. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Thank you, man. Oh, and Bells. What's up, Bells? Uh, Richie? Okay. What's up, Richie? What's up? Are everything cool? You should listen and laugh at the... Re oh, yeah. And Bells. And and if anyone who doesn't know, uh, Bells was in my recent stream, uh, my last public stream, and she is the amazing person that does all the tarot reading on the crypt. She is the, I guess, the official, unofficial tarot reader. And if Bells is up for it, I might do a once a week tarot reading, um, but only if Bells is up for it. And Bells, maybe I'll work out something where you can get something, something out of that because um, I definitely want to uh, make sure that you do. Oh yeah, and by the way, by the way, here, let me stop this music for a second before I get this video queued up. Uh, this is a, I'm, I'm, I'm giving an offer right now. This is a real offer. I, I want somebody that um, if, if you're really good at uh, HTML, if you're really good at, um, you know, putting animation together, uh, basically taking what I'm talking out of right now and having him walk, uh, move around, you know, kind of what some other streamers do. And I can just uh, talk over it. Um, this is a semi-permanent job. I would have you just do that. And every video you do for me, I will pay you. So it's not for free. I will pay you. So if anyone's serious, just send me a um, an email, dravencrypt at gmail.com. This is a serious uh, offer. And like I said, I will pay you. Um, this way, if I want to do videos in between that aren't live, I can do them and just talk over it and then just have the person walk, you know, moving around, kind of like what uh, what's his name does. Uh, the guy who looks like an octopus, uh, Omega. Or what that Illuminati, Illuminati, whatever their name is, what they did, you know. So if anyone can do that and you're interested, uh, send me an email. And like I said, I will pay you. So um, you let me know. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. Uh, thank you for being here. Please like. And we'll start with this and then I'll get into G-Man's video. I Like I said, I know about the pizza. Uh, I heard... And I know about some other things. Um, did you guys... Oh, man. I really don't want to say this yet. All right. I'm going to say a little bit now. And then after this video is done, I'll say it again. Do you guys know 
Did, does anyone has anyone reported about the uh, caseworker that went there? Here, before I start, yeah, uh, readings are cool, dude. I like them, and Bell's is, does a great job. So we might do like a weekly one, or if someone also wants to come in, Bell's can do a reading for you, and you know. But like I said, you want to make sure you uh, subscribe to Bell's. But uh, yeah, um, you know, because I want to, uh, I want to change things up, and I want Draven's Crypt or Draven's Crypt Show, whatever you want to call it, Draven's Crypt Official. I want my show to be more about, uh, you know, like we're gonna do fun videos like always, but I want to pay it forward and have new up and comers. Uh, you guys can come on my show, you know, as long as you do, you know, uh, do all the terms of service, of course. And don't break any rules. But if you have material, if you have jokes, if you have anything Shane related, if you have anything that you want to just throw out there and you're new, you can come on and I'll try you out, you know, and I'll play your stuff. No problem, you know. So, you know, I really want to do that, you know, to, to build the community. All right. Yo, she's down. Awesome. All right. So, uh, yeah, but did you guys hear about the, uh, the caseworker? And if you didn't, uh, like I said, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But I just wanted to let you, I just wanted to ask you all if you did hear about the caseworker that recently went and t paid them all uh, a visit. So my first video today was a very revelation newsy type of thing with the coronavirus. <laughs> now I have a video that's extremely not revelation newsy, which is drama, right. stupidity, BS, crap. Here's the thing. <laughs> this I, I, Richie, I, I wish it would. But no, but this is a, it's a serious offer. Like I said, if someone's really good, um, you know, I, I'm willing to make it worth their while. Because I just with all the stuff I'm doing and some side things I'm picking up and now this family has stuff happening and uh, the 29th of this month, I got to start a new cancer treatment. Um, so it's kind of busy for me and I, um, I'm going to try to take pictures from the facility. This way you guys see what uh, an average person on a CTCL goes through and what they have to do. And this way to give you guys more of a background of what that all entails. This woman named Fab Fit and Geeky, and the only reason that I am subbed to her is because I heard from G-Man her name, and it was apparently, yeah, it was about Shannon in some way. I saw a video, which I never watched, but it was a negative video towards Shannon. Uh, she has come out with a video, and the title of that video is is Shetty for Christ using her son's mental illness or mental instability as an advantage? Clout. Taking yeah. advantage of uh, my son's mental state. Um, and not to keep pausing, but for people who don't know, I have to do that to make the video transformative. Otherwise, I can get a copyright ding there or a strike, especially if it's not through a Creative Commons license, what they call what they call it um i would say yes because shani had her older son go on after they, they were taken away and and try to convince the uh the uh, trolls quote unquote that uh shani and ram did everything they could to give them a good life which we know that is not true and again you know he went through a lot of trauma both of those boys and i think he should have been working on himself instead of trying to fix his mother's uh you know, problems that she caused upon herself. You know, to me, somebody like this is awful. You, you know, this is a, is a low-cow person, you know, getting high on the streams, using children to change narratives, being racist, uh, being sexist, being uh, homophobic, being transphobic, being, being everything they've ever done. To me, that's cowish. That's cow mentality. But, um... Attacking children, hitting them, kicking them in the ribs is definitely where it kind of went a lot overboard for someone like me, especially watching folks. Like I said, I, I don't know how someone could attack a child, you know, maybe because it didn't come from Rev. He feels like, um, you know, he has no emotional bond. But the thing is, maybe if he did, maybe if he was a father figure to them and didn't hit them or touch them, maybe they would have actually loved him for real. And he could have loved them back. And then a bond could have happened. 
But again, he's he, he's a man child. He's a riffraff. No. That is exactly not what she's doing. She's doing the opposite of that. She's saying to you, shut the fuck up about us. Leave us alone because it's for the sake of the children. It's for the sake of her two boys that do not need this stuff. She was not trying to get some kind of advantage with you stupid cocksuckers. It has nothing to do with that. She wants to have peace in the family because you people have become so intrusive that we need almost protection because you're so intrusive. Is that true, honey? Yes. We should be almost protected custody type people. True. Which where we are, it's almost like that because the building is so secure. Hey, Kathleen, what's up? It's insane. Folks, the thing is that, and I'm going to, um, I don't, I don't know what you mean. Positive videos. I mean, like I've, I've tried to talk to Shani and anyone who's ever tried to talk to her without yelling at her. There's even an interview I have on my channel where I talk to them. There's a couple of interviews, but I, uh, I need to kind of trim those other ones down. Um, the way I see it is if you yell at somebody, they're not going to give you anything. And if, but if you come at them with kid gloves, the, you know, you, you'll get more out of them. Uh, the food situation, I know that they can get food. They don't need people to buy them pizza all the time or unhealthy stuff. I think, they, you know, I think them going to food pantries uh, would be, uh, for be better or more beneficial. But anyway, uh, positive videos. I mean, I haven't seen anyone make a positive video about them. I've just made videos and, you know, responded on what I was hearing, but I never tried to persuade my opinion to anyone else that watches me. And I think everyone who watches me knows that. I'm going to probably be repeating this to, all the way to my hey, fucking Aaron. grave. Okay. Exactly. The fact Larry. of the matter, very simply, is that there is a group of people on this particular website okay uh just a lurker that's not that's that's not true show me one bit of proof um five hundred dollars just a lurker i will cash app you five hundred dollars no questions asked if you can prove without a shadow of a doubt that my wife was ever talking about me she was she was not talking about me that was about her ex she came on my channel and we talked about this we, she, uh, she addressed it. Uh, so I don't know what you're looking for, but I guess you need to be timed out. Uh, you know, cause you're not coming at me with constructive criticism, you know, especially when things have been addressed. And you know what, if that is the only thing you can come up with me about, then you're a fucking loser. That is the only thing there's people out here, uh, getting drunk and beating their kids, but you don't talk about that. There's people out here that spit on their kids' faces, but you won't talk about that. But you'll talk about something that has nothing to do with me. And you, you have no idea. If I ever, ever hit my own kids, uh, Renee would kick my ass. <laughs> She's an alpha female, what we call it. So, yeah, I think you have a problem, man. And you know what? You've been saying a lot of dumb shit, so I think you need to go. Um, and you know what? I don't like morons that are easily, um, you know, that look, don't look into, um, don't look into the facts, you know, to me, it's, you seem very easily persuaded into, uh, false information. So yeah, I won't, won't want anyone like that in my community. Hey, okay. that's right. Rice and beans. They are what I would call dangerous yeah, right? <laughs> individuals. Now, am I frightened yes. of these people physically? Like, if I got in a fight with one of them? No. Because I'm Tyler Durden. I don't even fucking care. Hey, lovely Lori, that's why that one day, like, I was just saying, you know, saying things that no one talks about because I was like, oh, okay, I do all this and that. Never happened. Like I said, number one, if I did, my wife would have called me out, which she didn't. Number two... 
why would she come on stream with me and explain that whole thing? These people literally have nothing. And number three, if they thought that my wife was in any type of danger, why would you exacerbate that and make it worse? You make no freaking sense. And four, again, my wife is an alpha female. She would kick my ass if I did ever did anything like that. And you know what? That's what I married her for. I would expect her to. And you know, and if she, and if I ever saw her hitting any of the, of the kids, the, you know, I would have to uh, call CPS on her because you know, no abuse. You know, my family is all about that. We are like no abuse of any kind. But thank you. Uh, I appreciate your kind words. But some people, man, they just like, you know, there's reaching and then there's really reaching. There's people out here that are actually do these things. Like look up the Thorpe family. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, speaking of which, I might have uh, people been asking me about the Ben Thorpe guy. Uh, the, the guy, the actual guy that did the work and everything. Um but Shamu, if, if you haven't checked out his channel, you should go check it out. It's called Shamu on YouTube. Uh, he said he was going to come on my channel very soon and kind of talk to me about that whole experience of, I guess, befriending them and everything. I don't want to spoil all that, but please look out for that very, very soon. That's going to be a lot of fun. I love Shamu. He's a really cool dude, very down to earth. Hashtag China rules, not China, you know, China, the discord. <laughs> Pretty more. You know, I'll just scream hey, at Raku, Lou man. while I'm What's bleeding up? profusely from the face because I let him beat my face in. And I'd just be spitting blood on him. We really like your place, Lou. You know? Uh, uh, Grandma Boris, if I, I don't know would would lie afterward. I don't I don't know anybody who do who would do that except for like a cow like Shani. And again, I think that Shani did that because Rev wipes her butt and takes care of her. Versus the kids that don't make uh, money besides the older son who has like an online presence. But yeah, no, I don't, my, my wife does not need to uh, placate egos or defend or anything like that. When it comes to my wife, the kids come first. I'm second. <laughs> Get it right. So yeah, it's sick though. It's, it's sick that some people like would think that like I would never do that. You know, kids are innocent, man. You know, like you guys, I don't know. Some people just have no idea. But again, if you want, we're not talking about that here. If you want further context, look at the video I did with Renee. It wasn't that long ago. We were laughing at this, like how pathetic this is. Like you think that she would be with somebody this long if, if I hurt anybody, hurt my own kids? Like, just, I, I don't know. I, I, I think some people just want that type of drama so they can run with it. I just think that's disgusting. There's no proof. My name wasn't used. You're reaching. Remember that part in Fight Club? That'd be me now, because I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't care if you think I'm a fake yeah. Christian or if any of that bullshit. I don't care anymore because... Huh? Yeah, my, my Shannon doesn't either. And I admit that I was yeah. the type oh, of hey, individual Shamu. that wanted to be liked. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me yeah, Shamu S H A M O O. That that's yeah, not 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 this Shamu for Christ. But <laughs> what's up, Shamu? How you doing? Thanks for hanging out. Um, yes, they are. You know why? Because Lori, I kind of live a I a, a boring life. You know what I mean? I, I take care of my family. I, I feed them meals. Uh, you know, Renee works. We, we, you know, we have fun. We go on vacations. We do everything there is to do. And I got the best Father's Day and uh, birthday cards from my kids. And they're just, you know, I, I love reading them. Um, that to me is the, um, the jewel, the pinnacle of being a good parent. You know, when you, when you get a card and it's so sincere, you know what I mean? But back to the video. Like I said, I'm done with this mods. You know what to do. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to respond to ridiculousness. But if anyone ever has a point or actual criticism, A, you can ask it without, you know, without being weird about it. And B, 
if if you if you really uh, got some balls, I'll give you a link. And you can come right on here right now. And tell me how I hit anyone with vacuum cleaners. Like give give me a break. And again, this is an open ended, by the way, open ended thing. Five hundred dollars cash app, no questions asked, to show me any piece of proof where I hit anybody. It's just like my God, guys. Like you know, it's have fun with us or just move on. You know, go back to go back to some other channels. You know, that's all I can say. I I always wanted to be liked, and oh, hey, I got Omi, what's that up? from my mom. She was the same way. She always needed to be liked. Oh, what hey, do they Sandra, call what's it? Up? Validation, all of that psychology stuff that you you need other people to look at you and go. Amen, brother, or mm -hmm. amen, sister. You know, they that's needed. I don't need that shit anymore. I don't give a fuck about what one of you think of me. The only person and entity in the universe that I truly care is Christ and my wife and my children. Because that's the order right in the Bible, folks. It's Christ at the top. It has to be. He's the crown. Christ is the crown. The corona. The corona. Uh, hey, Josh, what's up? Laura's Hope, I, I, fuck, I have no idea. Uh, Renee said something three years ago, and it got so dragged out because people were trying to like dig up anything they could about me. They can't because there's nothing there. So uh, they made up this story, like, something that I think like her, her ex-husband, uh, I don't know, was throwing out a vacuum cleaner. And I think one of the kids, um, I mean, you have to ask her, and I think one of them accidentally um, opened it up and it got everywhere. And I think he's got breathing problems. I don't know. I, I really don't know the specifics of it. But she was very angry when we found out something at that time. But that all got rectified, thank God, and that all got uh, that all got fixed. But that's why um, that's why that kid lives with us full time because we got him out of that dangerous situation. Jesus is taking down the bad guys. He's the king. You got the king at the top, man. You must have him at top, at the very top. Right. If there's anything <laughs> above Christ in your life, throw it out. Because guaranteed, it's probably satanic. Okay? Because it be, that's idolatry. If Christ, the creator, is not number one in your priority list, you're idolizing something. And yeah, it can even be your spouse. Because I told people, and I tell Shannon, uh, if I wasn't huh. a, a committed huh. believer in Jesus and Christian, I would be a pagan female spirit worshiper. What? <laughs> let, me, let me put let me remind that this is this is a lot a lot of information at once jesus and christian i would be a pagan female spirit worshiper guaranteed probably a member of the uh cult of bacchus because i love fucking wine and i love fucking women that's a truth in fact <laughs> oh, i'm sorry that's over so fab, fit, and geeky, I don't even know where this woman came from. I had never heard the name once uh, until G-Man. How long has she been around? No you don't know? I know nothing about her. I have never seen a video of her. I neither. That's why I'm asking you. So that's it. I don't even know this woman. It's, a, it's another... I just know she uses my, my name for views. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Um, I want to point this out. Even in 2020, um, Rev and Shanny, I mean, and this is just the truth, you know, uh, to anybody new here. They get people every day that want to be their best friend, want to throw them money, want to buy them pizza or whatever all the time. Whether they cloud chase, you know, or jump, they use them as a stepping stone, whatever. So I think that's why they don't trust anybody. And I think that's why, like... You know, they've seen it so many times where they're just like, who are you even now? Like, who? what have you done? You know what I mean? Like, I started doing this because I was part of a group that did it. 
and and a bunch of us branched off. You know what I mean? So it kind of was like I didn't just come out of nowhere and decide to do it. Like I was part of a group. And we were actually going against Shani for, for saying that someone didn't have uh, MS. Because that's just what Shani does. Shani has all the debilitating diseases and nobody else does. She uses, she's using my son's mental illness as an, as an advantage. Yeah, that's correct. She's accusing me of using my son's mental illness as an advantage. No, it's actually you, bitch. That's true. It's actually you. Because you want the views. That would be accurate. <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> folks. Do you realize the... Where is my mental illness with my son? Any of your <laughs> fucking business, lady. How is it any of your fucking business? His face. It's not. It's not. No. You're a cunt. Here's the thing, wow. though. Cunt. Here's the thing, though, folks. Oh, my God. I got another bastard that was on Shanna's page, I think. That what? The, you know, see, again, I don't talk like this. You know, uh, the word bastard to me is a, is an ugly word you know because once again a child a child has no bearing towards if their parents got married or not and how, what went down you know you'll find you don't realize that until later on in life like how things can can get messy if you know your first relationship or marriage or whatever doesn't work out and i think rev's a real piece of trash for calling somebody like that you know, even though it's online it's just it's that's just not it's not a cool word to to say you know it's like bastard child it's just i don't know i, I don't like it that said we are definitely not christians you know why because we give satanic symbols constantly you know uh nope uh -huh. sorry uh -huh. What? No, I do things with my hands all the time that I... I do oh, yeah, right. I'm Laura. sort of like a Jew or an Italian. Wow. Because I speak a lot with my hands. Well, I know how to communicate to them, and they know that I communicate with them. I mean, you had the anti-Trump yeah. Christians going, saying... You, you noticed that, uh, Rice, right? Yeah, well, you know why. He needs to make sure that what, Shani, what, he, what he's saying is verbatim exactly what shani wants him to say because otherwise shani's gonna get slapped and he does not want to deal with her getting slappy that trump was given 666 could because he does this a lot See, we don't even want to talk about the situation no there's better things to talk about yes because our son's mental health is our business not yours no it's nobody else's business we just told you to leave him alone because of his mental health yes why is there a problem with that how do you twist that I call on age in a doubt. I don't even know if he subs. He probably doesn't. I'm a stupid She's just a bully. She's a bully. Age she just wants to keep tricks. You know, you want to do another her. video? Cause oh, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. It's just I got thoughts, and if I don't get them out, then I'm going to forget. <laughs> While he like picks his boogers off his nose ring. Uh, so for, for new guys here... When he says stuff like this, he's getting aggravated because she's just talking over him. And that's why he's like, oh, you want to make your own video? Because I can't remember what I'm about to say. Even though there's talking points and stuff in front of him, he gets, you know, Rev is the type of person that will always kind of tell the truth. I don't know what he has. It's like, I guess, uh, maybe some sort of, uh, some form of ADHD, but he'll always tell you how he's feeling. And that's why he's like, do you want to just make this video? Because she, she tells him to make these videos, but then she wants to talk over it. Agent of doubt. I don't know if you sub. I don't know if you ever watch anything I do. Probably not. I'm an idiot Christian to you, I guess. But you're a cool dude. I love you with... I, I really like you, dude. Okay? I wanted to hang out more with you. You're amazing. You were great to hang out with. So... Agent of doubt, dude, you tell me from the psychology standpoint, from, from a professional's purview, you tell me the deal with these people, okay? He warned us about these Yeah, he did. He did, and he said they are coming. It was a very ominous thing, folks. How many times in your life have you had somebody say to you, they're coming for you? 
That's kind of, in, I mean, damn the fucking hell, all the consequences, the justice be done, may the heavens fall, screw it, you know, if it comes to that. I mean, fuck, I don't know what to say more than that, okay? Justice be done, may the heavens fall. Hmm. Oh, where's, where's Lord Stephen Christ, you know? The glass sky is falling. He looks like a Billy Goat. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> huh? But Can you imagine that? It's over $750,000 living in a $3,000 a month condo, three, three stories... All this money, Shani has her food stamps and and whatever else she was getting for the for the boys, and they were so unkempt. You would think, you know, even with a hundred grand, that's enough to, you know, go get a decent haircut and stuff and a decent shaver. It, it boggles my mind to this day. You, you need to sort out in your own mind, legally, professional, opinion wise, okay. Because everything's subjective to your own purview of history. Understood? Everybody has their own perspective on what they think is good, bad, or indifferent. Why do you think there's so many different kinds of movies and music? Everybody's got their own shit that they like. Food wise, eat the, you know. I can't eat a I can't eat a regular hamburger anymore because it makes me sick to my stomach. Um, or Shani eats it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, I'll be done in a second. Uh, sorry, folks. Okay, here's the thing. Do you understand? Do you do you understand? It's very simple. And this goes out to the brethren, you know, I, I've been, it's like Jesus has renewed my spirit. And I've definitely been feeling Bible hey, videos coming. I've been feeling Revelation News type old material coming. Because he's kind of unlocking some shit, I think, right now. And I look for brothers out there, like, I, first on my list is, jo is Brother Josh. Okay, free fall 82nd. Uh, he's the first that comes to mind when I'm thinking like this, that there's some kind of activating thing. Holy Spirit, electricity, without a doubt. I feel it. There's zaps going on, bro. Well, you know, Laura, I'm surprised that Shani did it, you know? Like I said, like I, like I showed before in previous videos, I have the... the police report she threw a bag of tostitos chips at his head and he got mad at this at the older boy or sorry the younger one and kicked him in the ribs you know like not nothing like he just went right to kicking him in the ribs you know what that tells me that tells me that he's done it before how anybody i'm sorry that's that's baby carrot energy that's small wee wee energy if you have to kick a child yeah, I'll say that I'll say that all day, every day. You know, if you have to, if if you think you're that big of a big man that you have to hit a a female or an innocent little kid, you got some major major problems. And I just can't believe Shannon Shanny just turned around and said, "Oh, it's his medication." After 13 days of trying to find a replacement for him, it's his medication. Give him a break. Can you imagine what those kids felt? Like I feel so sorry for them that you know, like he. She picked him over over them, you know. Blood's thicker than water. Oh, my no, wife is glowing. Out, though, please like. Say what you will about Trisha Paytas, but she's glowing too. She's a lover of Jesus. Crazy stuff is happening. So, huh? Oh, yeah, my. Uh, like my entire stru my body structures like almost getting like the rock i don't it's bizarre that would be appropriate for you if i ended up having a body like the rock huh oh my god he so knows me thank you yeah he does 
He knows you so well. I always wanted a body like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. <laughs> that was my, like... I bet. A combination of the two, because I got a Brad Pitt kind of thing going on. With see, what? That at, oh. He's molding the clay into our glorified bodies. Which, wow. Um, okay, before I keep going with that craziness, how can anyone take what they're saying seriously? You know, she, they're, they're so angry, you know, with their kids. She wasn't using that as clout. And then all of a sudden, Shane talks about something else. You know why? Because she really doesn't care. To, to me, these are talking points. Talking points so Shani can play the victim. A lot of people do this crap. You know, play the victim, and then right away, it's like, where did that feeling go? I, I don't know about you guys, but like if something's bothering me, it just doesn't just go away on a dime. Maybe, maybe that's her mafabro. <laughs> I don't think so, though. It just makes it hard to believe. Wow. That's amazing stuff. Adam Eve, baby. We're Adam and Eve. Yeah. Reborn. Yep. That is uh, some trippy shit. No, Rev's not drunk. He's just, this is how he was post, you know, um, Shani forcing him to stop drinking the whiskey and just quitting, uh, you know, uh, switching to cigarettes and uh, marijuana. You know, he did what people we call uh, cross addicted. He went from whiskey to to uh, marijuana and what uh, and whatever else. Because, um, like I said, I heard from the person, the uh, the uh, the clerk, the convenience store clerk, that. Uh, that Rev was over there meeting dealers. I mean, this is alleged because I didn't see it. I didn't see any videos, but it was said that Rev was meeting different dealers outside this convenience store, which definitely, I don't know. <laughs> I, I find that easy to believe. That's not the first person that's ever said something like that. And the way Rev acts and that neck thing, there's no way that this is just marijuana. Yeah. But I know Amanda Breck fits in there somewhere. He's in that garden. He's in the garden with the fig tree. Oh my God, dude, the fig tree. The fig tree. Yeah, he's got a fig tree. Amanda Breck is a fig tree owner in the garden. Go ask him about it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Lightning strike. <laughs> A crazy shit. He's got a connection to the creator. If you like it or not, Christians, he does. He knows he knows Christ. He know no, I'm not gonna say he knows Christ. Christos. It's a title. It's a fucking Roman pagan Greek uh pagan title. Christ. Messiah. Messiah. The for the Arabs. Moshiach. For the Hebrews. That's right. Ooh. Ooh. You like what I... Uh, there was nothing more of a turn on when we started talking about the Bible together. I all right. Sometimes... It, wow. Wow. Sometimes I'm talking about the Bible. And I, I just get like the biggest boner. Oh, I don't even know why. <laughs> Dude, seriously? <laughs> uh, that's, that is true. That is true. Our love for Jesus turns us on. Yeah, it does. That's why, G yeah, they try and make Jesus so lame. I'm sorry, they'll make him look sexy. He was a party dude. Party dude. Party dude. And if he I wasn't partying, him. then he was slapping down some fucking boards with his dad as a carpenter. Oh, no. Okay. So he would have been a hippie, probably long hair. I imagine Christ with hair like this. I imagine him like, I really do. Yeah, he liked to celebrate. Yeah, he was a fucking drunkard. They called him a drunkard. A fucking, that means he was fucking drinking heavy. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the Father gives me all power, man. <laughs> wow. And he considered it rude to refuse. Yeah. He was God. And he wanted to... Do you know how many beers he got as God? They know he was God. 
beers. They were constantly giving him drink. I'll buy you a drink, Jesus. I freaking love you, Messiah. Yeah, of course they were. So awesome. Yeah, he didn't need a job because the people saw the virtue coming off of him. And they were just like, come on in, dude. You know, I want to have a meal with you. Yeah, that's why people like to party with me. I'm fun to party with. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a partier. Oh my God, I'm going to have such comments like you are absolutely a Satanist saying this stuff. You know what I mean? I sound, I'm going to start, well, Brian Warner, a.k.a. Marilyn Manson, is starting to sound like me and you. I know. Do you get that? I know. I was trying to tell the folks on my channel, it was going to be like probably a five-part series mm. where I was playing music videos with me on camera, making commentary. See, he was talking about Jesus. We uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, really? Yeah. Oh my God, that's a good idea. So okay, so this was when they still were promoting the OnlyFans. So there's some proof for everybody that because a lot of people have, have speculated and asked me and you know others, was the OnlyFans legitimate? Yes, it was. Were they maybe promoting it under a different name? So the people who knew them from the uh, YouTube wouldn't go over there? No, it was the same name, same everything. You know, that, that's Shani knew that, you know, her audience, and that's why she would promote it out, uh, you know, on YouTube. But no one really watched it, a, a handful of people. And then they kind of got sick and then it kind of got on Twitter and, you know, I, and please, I do not recommend anyone looking at it. It's very uh, disturbing to say the least. Uh, folks, I just had an absolute great idea that there will be a series of documentary almost style presentations from myself on what they call satanic music. Where I'm going to point out to you that it's always been about the creator and not Satan. You know, there may be people who actually like buying circuits just to watch those and not the sex tapes. Right. That's what I'm saying. I vow to you I'm going to do that today. That's going to, that's going to be a project I'm going to start working on soon. That's so cool. Yeah, that's going to be great. I can make graphics too. You know what? Oh, I should do it downstairs where I will bother you. Office. Yeah, the office. That's a good idea. Yeah, the office. Mud room office. Ah, that's a good idea. But yeah, folks, that's it. This this fat fit geeky. She's a small channel. I mean, it's neck. Insignificant nat nat of an individual. But here's the thing. My response is that you're as far from the truth as possible. And you're just trying to keep drama stirring. Yeah, because you need mm. views. You're, you're, all of these channels stack. using my situation against me. All of these channels, which focus on other people, stagnate or die completely because there's no content. Because they're empty vassals. Do you hear that? I called you an empty vassal. Vassals. Suck on that. Peace. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there's a little bit to unpack there. Number, number one. <laughs> You know, the more and more you guys watch them, the more you realize they are they are not well, what I would consider Christian. They don't act Christian. They're very, you know, pushed back. They don't take any criticisms. And I think uh, when you do this type of stuff, you have to, you know, be open-minded. But as long as the cr uh, criticisms are valid and not just stupid shit with no proof. I mean, receipts are a thing, you know. But I, I will say that... Um, uh, that uh, I don't think it's the channels. I think people just get sick of them too. You know, people try to just put the stuff out there, try to say here, you know, if you want to watch them, fine. But, you know, I would suggest not paying uh, to them because this is what they're doing with the money. You know, those children, they went through hell. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how you could go out and buy yourself a big meal and you have kids with you and you get them like the smallest thing on the menu or you get mad at them that you go to like a like a like a arcade and you know you get them 10 bucks a quarter and they want 10 more dollars like yeah when I, when I you know when we go out as a family i i always got like a, at least a hundred dollars ready because i know and even though i don't like to go on rides like like you know roller coasters anymore 
I will always like you know do the water park stuff with them, uh, do the video game stuff with them because I'm down with that. But <laughs> I'm a little too old to be doing roller coasters. But you know what? I will sit there. I'll take their picture when they're on there. I'll cheer them on. You know, I'll do what you're supposed to do. I'm, I'll make them feel like they are the greatest ever because they are. You know. And remember, kids, if you are a decent uh, human being, a decent parent, they look up to you. You're their hero. So you know what? Be their hero. That's, you know, I digress. But let's get on to this video. Um, and then we'll get on to the G-Man video. But, uh, yeah, so real quick, uh, there was – I heard a rumor a little bit – a little while back that a caseworker – or I don't know if it was a caseworker or some sort of therapist went out and spoke to them. But after hearing from some people that said that, you know, when Shani was begging for pizza on Instagram, showing that they had no food in the fridge, um, hearing that they're trying to get them, uh, you know, do reunification, get the children back, which I do not think is going to happen. I mean, she's, Shani has done so much stuff, not caring about, you know, them getting taken away and then saying, oh, they're on an extended vacation. The fact that they never stopped doing that Delta 8, the fact that Rev was still in the house and they were scared of him, and the other fact that Shani never cooked. Like, I don't get that. If you, you know, how could you not, how can you call yourself a parent and not like actually be happy when you're cooking for your family? Like, to me, that's like the greatest feeling in the world. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're, so we're two different people. You know, I think I had some great parents though that raised me right and showed me like, right and wrong you know because there is a difference folks but here let's get into that but i wanted to see if you guys heard about the caseworker that was going there and i don't know hopefully um the, you know they could you know they can they can help them too but or these two but i still feel like shani and rev should not have um all, all their visits with the boys should be supervised in my opinion because they've seen way too much and come on they were doing only fans when the kids were in the, in the next room you know, they didn't hear anything gross. So I think that they need supervised visits, at least until the older one's 18, and then he can do whatever he wants, you know, with his life. Is that right, self-hating weeb? Zach spent a crime because he didn't get, a, get to change special groups and because he didn't have his field trip money. Do you listen to him or his brothers or just stream on YouTube? Oh, my God. Wait a minute. What? So, so this video is short. It's just them kind of uh, addressing some, uh, they're, you know, just reading their chat, you know, which they hardly did. You know, you know what I mean. And it, this is a chat. It wasn't even like twenty people in there this time. Okay, get that profile right now. Yeah, that that one. Get that. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it's not true what he's just said. Get that right now. You want me to hide him? No, I want you to bring that profile up and bookmark it. Okay. Whoever that is. Zach is having a real yeah. hard time. The whole school is concerned. Who are you? Who is this person? Okay. Yeah. We got to call. We got to yeah, Who are you? Yeah, we got to call the FBI right now. Yeah, who are you? Hey, you know, Kathleen, you're always cool. And uh, accidents do happen. So I'm sure I'm sure Lori knows that. But you know what? I'm glad that you guys can just take care of that. No problem. You know, because I love my community. My community likes to have fun and also can be like, oh, my bad. I made a mistake. Hey, mistakes happen, folks. You know, no one's perfect. But me, especially, I'm trying to be. And I think people are here also trying to be. And I love when new people come and experience what I call the Shani effect. They see what, how she treated uh, her boyfriend and how he treated her and how they treated the kids and their own family and other people that they didn't know online. And then all of a sudden they want to give their kids an extra hug or clean their house, you know, make sure it's clean and brush their teeth more, you know, and don't wear these whatever moo moo dresses. <laughs> you know? Um, I call it the Shani effect, you know, trademark pending, definitely, and I ain't kidding. Um, but uh, I love it when people experience that because, hey, if you becoming a better person from watching them is great. If we can make any positives out of these negatives, I will take it, folks. Can we get their profile from here? Right here. Okay. 
Who is this? The self-hating me. Who is this? Interesting. You ignore it. Just give him love. Really, the whole school is concerned. Oh, hang on. Mm. No, we have to. He's book, lying. Bookmark this. Huh. Okay. What yeah. do you want me to do? Uh, I want. Well, I'm. I'm just going to send it to your. Yeah, send it to the lawyer number one. Well, I'll let you do that. I'm going to send it to you, and then you can do everything you okay, need to cool. do with it. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm calling the FBI tomorrow. And then I'm blocking Oh, yeah, right. Call the FBI. Sure, Rev. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get You spent four hours in your room instead of explaining his brother's situation. Really? You think that? Maybe he already knew. Zach is very happy, actually. Get off my channel. Don't bring up my kids. You bring up my kids. It's done. What you're saying is not true. I don't know who you are. I but it, it is true, and it was true. You see, and that's the difference, folks. You know, that's why I used to love my, um, you know, a lot of the older communities because we made sure that there was facts. You know, if people are throwing out facts about people that they, they other creators because they just simply don't like them, that and or call them lol cows, that makes these other people like an average viewer go. Well, are these little cows either? If they're lying about this, like, you know what I mean? It's not good. It muddies the waters. With Shani and Rev, there is receipts all day of these claims. And like I said, I don't try to persuade anyone's opinion. I just try to show the videos and you guys make up your own opinion. But that's why I don't try to speculate with stuff like this because I don't want people thinking, well, then they must have gotten a bad rap too. Because see, that's how that stuff starts. <laughs> Where do you find them? Oh, yeah, FBI. If you're talking FBI, yeah, I'm calling them tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for the link, huh? You're welcome. What a Why lie. pay when you can go to Pornhub for free? Why go to Pornhub when you get viruses and all those other things with it? Yeah. You can go get it at a secure channel where you won't get any fish. And you can get requests. And you get requests. Yeah. Private. Ew. Requests. Private requests. You can't give private requests on Pornhub. No. <laughs> well, hey, folks, two funny things about that before I uh, play the G-Man video. One funny thing is, who do you think was promoting the uh, Pornhub? Shani. She was telling people to go there because no one was buying it. It was like 15 a month, and I think she brought it down to like $5 and then 3 and then she just said, told people to go on Pornhub. She just wanted people to watch. So I think that's really funny that uh, she's like, well, what about viruses? And don't you want requests? Don't you want like someone to be like, hey, Shani, like go uh, pee, pee on Rev again. Like, you know, like, no, nobody wanted requests. I could say, you know, say that the nicest way possible. Nobody wanted requests, folks. <laughs> Trust me on that one. And also... If you remember a little bit ago, Rev was on Pornhub, right? Yes, he was. And he was talking to some women and Shani got pissed. That's kind of how, how the whole, uh, you know, cutting, uh, shaving his head off and putting the scarlet A on him. He was going on Pornhub and then he was talking to some prostitutes, he claims. And then he claims it was people just messing with him on Facebook. Either way, he was, he was, you know, giving out baby carrot picks to them. If you think you're messing with somebody, I don't know why giving out your baby carrot to them is the, uh, you know, like, oh, I got them. Especially if Shani wasn't in on the joke. So, yeah, I just think that's kind of funny um, that she talks about that. And uh, also, fun fact, Shani broke Rev's, one of his laptops because he was looking on, on Pornhub online. And apparently he was also looking at some of the uh, creators because he thought that they were cute. So, all right, next video. And guys, thank you for hanging out. Please like. I appreciate you. And I appreciate, you know, just like, the, you know, having fun. Because that's what we do here at The Crypt. We have fun. We have fun against these horrible people. <laughs> well, here's, uh, here's G-Man. Um, now... Before I start, um, I'm just going to say, you know, he does get hate for claiming he was going to give money 
to well rev he was gonna give money to rev because they gave him that house for free that was in di- a big disrepair and it seems like he's almost selling it or he might be on like very close to closing because now all of a sudden this money thing about the house and if he's going to give rev money and since we didn't hear from rev and shane in a while who else is you know who's paying for them and yes, of course, Shaney's asking for, for money online on, on Instagram. But besides that, you know, who else? So I think it kind of fit. And I don't think G-Man realizes that, that um, he said that he was going to give him money. Well, just Rev, but he knows that she, he'll give it to Shaney. And that the fact that he hasn't, they haven't been around, if they did get some money, you know, there's a way to get the uncle off their back. But here, we'll start this, and I'll put on the closed caption for you all. Oh, by the way, I made sure the latency is normal. So uh, for my non-English-speaking viewers, what's up, guys? Uh, Closed caption is on uh, right now. So there you go. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching my channel, you know, speaking different language. I really, really appreciate it. I'm very humbled that people, especially in the U.K. and Australia and Spain and Puerto Rico, watch me. But uh, all right, let's get into this, folks. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the uh, Sowing and Reaping YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about today is, is that there are a few YouTubers, um, I don't know about channel owners, but uh, viewers, who uh, are going around saying that the reason why Shani and Rev or not uh, <laughs> on social media is because I gave them a large sum of money. And what I'm going to do here today, how you doing, Carrie? What I'm going to do in this particular stream here today. Yeah, yeah, Facebook Messenger. But there was um, there was a time before that, before she did that to his head, you know, uh, where she, it happened in Colorado. And Shani, Shani broke his laptop. And then she, for a reason, she needed an Alienware laptop for herself. Now, some people thought it was him looking at Pornhub and looking at some of these YouTube uh, creators that um, he was thinking were more attractive than Shani, obviously. But uh, who knows? Well, all we know for certain is that he was looking in, at Pornhub and Shani broke his, you know, broke his computer by, I think, spilling some water or coffee or her soda on it. Is this demonstrate? the poor logic of some people on uh, social media, all right? So, I watched a little bit. Of- uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can try to get that. I don't have uh, the Instagram, and Shani kind of like hides who can see her Instagram, but I'm gonna see if I can uh, grab it. Drader, um, I watch a little bit of some of these other channels, and people, um, People in the um, people in their chats hey, Scott, are saying that up? the reason why Shani and Rev ain't uh, are, are not on YouTube is because uh, G Man gave them a large sum of money. When I say what I'm going to say in this particular video, please understand I'm not talking about everybody, but this is specifically for the people who are going around making these comments and aren't thinking before they speak you know especially the people here and he, um, like i said i'm gonna let this play for a little bit just to give him his uh, little platform his little soapbox but you know i'm gonna say it again i think people think that because he said that you know he did claim i think i'm gonna give rev some money not a lot of it but maybe like 10 grand towards the sale of the home and i don't know what he was looking for like over like 180 thousand dollars something like that so 10 grand off the top you know minus all the you know the, the attorney fees and stuff um uh, still rev could do a lot with that because they don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it at shanty <laughs> so um i could see where people would think that hell even i could think that you know because it's just it sounds logical with what he said before so i just want to point that out there but here you go g man and i think they're smart claim that they have logic and claim that they they know things. Let me just remind you of a couple of things, okay? This woman got on social media 
and told everybody that I gave her a death sentence because I wasn't going to give her no more. I wasn't going to give her the full amount of money I was giving them for them to be in that hotel that they wasn't only going to be able to get half because I had to get minor back surgery on my back. Are you following me? Now remember, I'm not talking to everybody about this. It's just the people on here who are saying that G-Man gave Shani and Rev a large sum of money. All right. Um, she got on here after that and attempted to tell everyone my personal business. And when I say attempted, please understand, even when I was friends with them, I understood that neither one of them could keep, could keep a secret if their life depended on it. So I'm just saying, you know, wasn't that stupid. All right. Um, and since this is Shani and Rev we're talking about, they just lost their um, their YouTube channel uh, called The Losers Club. Before that, they lost their Twitch. Uh, I think they lost their TikTok and they lost several other platforms that they had, their Rumble or whatever, I think, right? Don't you think if they got a large sum of money, they would be on here uh, bragging about it? Doing mukbangs and doing all this kind of ridiculous stuff on here? Maybe, but maybe not. Like, I, like uh, I've heard and like a lot of people have heard, the uncle does not want to deal with this anymore. He is so at the end of his rope when dealing with Shani and Rev because, you know, this ain't just them anymore and this ain't just wellness checks. This has now gone into his life, gone into where the uncle's getting calls on his phone number, which I would do not know the uncle's phone number. He's getting uh, letters. He's getting all this different stuff. And like I said, I think there's a difference between somebody who was threatening to end themselves and doing a check to make sure that that didn't happen and people calling this this guy this poor man's phone number asking about Rev and Shani, which G Man's told me many times they do not, he does not, he's not interested. So that's why I think, you know, he's you know, if they were doing things the smart way, they would save that money if they got money and you know that's to try to find a another place to live. But it's Rev and Shani we're talking about. You <laughs> they don't plan anything past tomorrow. I'm sure if they did get money, they, there would be a lot of Delta 8 vape carts all over the place. When was the last time Shani or Rev did anything that I told them to do? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So if she got this large sum of money, she would be on here bragging. She would have made at least one stream bragging about all the money that she got from me and, and then talking about how she loved me and all this other stuff and whatnot. You know what I mean? Because, you know, she's Shani and she can do whatever she wants to do or whatever. But there are people in here that are saying that she's not on social media because I gave her a large sum of money. Anybody with a working brain should know that, that should know her by now that if she got a large sum of money, she would be getting on here getting her revenge. OK, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. How about this? Maybe, just maybe, the reason she's not on social media because she believes that uh, every time she starts a, a, a YouTube channel or go on some platform that she's getting flagged down. Maybe she's discouraged. Maybe she believes she can't do another stream. People get like that. You know what I mean? Some people will be like, um, you know, I'll just go on this platform and I'll 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 go on this platform. Some people will actually do that and then have those platforms taken away and then just be like, you know what? Forget it. Maybe they don't have no money for internet. You ever thought about that? Maybe they can't afford the internet. Uh, and if they have. Well, let me cut them off right there. The, because Shani was getting food stamps, even if it's just her, uh, she can get that, what is it, $10 a month internet? I mean, it's not the best in the world, but, you know, you can stream with it. Money for the internet. Maybe they're actually trying to save their money and trying to do something with themselves because Rev's uncle put them in a situation where they now got to start taking that stuff seriously. Why does it got to be that G-Man gave them this large sum of money? 
I said this before in the past, and I said this before, and I said it before, and I said it before. Um, if I wanted to do something for them, I don't have a mommy and a daddy here on, on, on YouTube. The only person that I fear is Almighty God. You understand what I'm saying? So um, if I wanted to do something for them, and I felt convicted by, and I and I felt convicted to do it. Not only will I would I do it, but I would give glory to God and praise Him for doing it. But I don't have that conviction. I don't believe that's what I should be doing. And the very fact that I that 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 people think that, I'm sorry that that I had to make this YouTube video to explain this elementary stuff to uh to a few YouTubers on here. Who think that I gave a large sum of money to, uh, to a large sum of money to Shani and Rev? It's crazy. I have disrespected those two in every way possible, and it's not going to be that easy for them to get my support anymore. These two um, uh, did some pretty disgusting stuff to the point no that shit. they were getting ready to use another lady on here for ten grand. And you guys think I would be stupid enough to go to them and give them money. I'll tell you one circumstance. I'll tell you one circumstance in which I would give them a call and 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 try to offer to give them some money if I wanted to get payback on some YouTubers. That's the only way it would happen. Honestly, I'm not friends with them. Per Jason's request, he doesn't want no pity. He doesn't want no money. He doesn't want anything to do with me. So guess what? He got his wish. I'm not giving them nothing. If you want to know why Shandy and Rev ain't here, look at yourselves. You know what I mean? A lot of you kept making videos and videos and videos and videos and videos. Maybe they just got tired of it and left. The Losers Club was the last straw. They can't come on YouTube because they'll be bandivating. They can't go on Rumble uh, uh, because um, they can't ask for money on Rumble, I think. I think they can't. I don't know about that. I the whole they can't go on Rumble because they can't ask for money. And maybe you can't promote it, but it could be on the on the side, you know, in the side chat. So I, I don't know about that. But the the Rumble is definitely a possibility. That's why I always check it. And I'm surprised they haven't tried to go on uh, Kick yet. Not K I K the uh, to the text app, uh, K I C K go on twitch because she was kicked off of twitch where is she's gonna go where is she gonna go i don't think they're coming back on youtube unless something happens in their life and they feel the need to come on here and tell everybody or they get bored i personally this is just my own personal opinion based on calling the uncle every now and then there is evidence to suggest that they're trying to get their children back. Yeah. Aside from that, I, I don't know too. what else is going on. But all this, um, all this, uh, 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 you know, they're, they're quiet because G-Man gave them money is the dumbest logic I ever heard in my life considering who we're talking about. Because since we're talking about Shani and Rev, they would be on here flaunting it, bragging, smoking, getting high and all this other stuff and whatnot. They used to live in my house. And they still got on here and streamed and begged when I was over there helping them. You know what I mean? So all this nonsense about G-Man giving them a large sum of money. No, 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 no. G-Man didn't do that. I think what it is is that some people on here They got mixed feelings about Shani and Rev. I don't have these mixed feelings. My mixed feelings went away a long time ago when this woman lied and said I gave her a death sentence. She came on social media and publicly told everybody that I gave her a death sentence. I'm just, I don't had enough of Shani's baloney. I don't had enough of Rev's lying. Whether you guys believe that or not, that's you. But you can't get on here and say you hate the woman and that you want to see her thrown into jail and, and you want to see her get off of YouTube, and then she gets off of YouTube, and you're wondering, well, where's Shani? Mm, well. Where's Shani? Well, how about this? You succeeded in your plan to get her off of social media. 
No, you don't get Shanny no more. That's what you wanted. Make your mind up. You either want her on here or you don't. You can't have both. The law of non-contradiction. You can't have both. It's either she's going to be on social media or she ain't going to be on social media. I personally am happy. I don't have to listen to no more <laughs> every other stream. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing all this 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 Bible verses being taken out of context. Her not knowing. I I don't know why he's never said that before. But here, guys, let me just show you a couple of things. But you know, by while I uh you know in between this video. So yes, Rev did get a pizza. Uh, I was sent that from my buddy. Thank you, buddy. You know who you are, and I love that. Uh, I love your help. Thank you for always helping me out. Shout out to you. So apparently Shani was up to her old tricks, asking people to um, to give her food. And again, remember, folks, uh, she could have just taken stuff out of the cabinets. But she writes here, empty cabinets and fridge. That's what the trolls did to us. That's bullshit. We're not even eating at this point. That's more BS. Like, yeah, sure. So that's that's one of the pictures. And um, just grab the other one. I'm telling you, folks, it's, you know, for somebody who's not doing anything, Shani's still doing this e-bag and stuff. And, yeah, so she says, and this is another person told me this uh, weeks ago, so this is more confirmation. In our experience, we had to leave all social media. Oh, we only. I got. I got to do it in, in, in fun, Shani. Uh, she's so sad. We only had this account to ask people for help. By the way, we have no food right now. Could you send a pizza or something? That would help us so much. Oh, <laughs> you know, more more BS, folks. More more BS. So there, there's that for you. And um, let me just uh, get this going, and we'll check this out. Then we'll get back to G-Man, guys. But thank you for hanging out. I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. I hope you appreciate me. There is links below if you want to become a member. I'm doing a lot more member streams. They are a lot of fun. We're having fun with the cooking videos. We're having fun just being able to, you know, talk and, and all that. So, um consider it because we do have a lot of fun in there and um besides all that uh and there's also donation links if i'm if i give you one chuckle today consider donating is this is a small channel and even if you can't donate though it's the end of the month i understand money's tight you can hit the like it is free folks um and i would appreciate it helps me with the algorithms so here is rev in his uh i guess pizza video and thank you for you know who for being uh, the best one of the best cryptors around. Can you hear that? Right there, Ted Teddy Bear rules. Do you get this right here? Teddy Bear rules. You know why? Well, I'm gonna let you know why. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Right there's a cheeseburger pizza. Cheeseburger pizza. But I got something to talk to you about. You know, why couldn't you just give the guy a plain pizza, you know? I mean, beggars should not be choosers, you know? And you, who do you guys think is going to eat most of that pizza? I mean, come on. Today, folks. Folks. The Reverend Dude. Now, I might be off of the internet. <laughs> the truth, I'm off of the social medias, but that doesn't mean I don't hear things. And I heard something about this individual by the name of Teddy Bear 55 on YouTube. Why is he talking like that? I've heard the stories. I've heard about the carries of the world. And we have a man in Teddy Bear 55 that I could tell you I get in the ring with him any day. Because I know we'd have my back. You know why? Because this man is standing up for truth. He's standing up for calling out the bullies for doing the bully cyber demon stuff. Mm. I'm going to tell you that right now. 
and I would go in the ring with him one, two, three, any day of the week. What does That's that mean? Reverend dude, I'm going to tell you what. He would go in the ring with him? Like, uh, what, what is that? Like, what is that? He wants to wrestle the guy because he bought him a cheeseburger pizza? But I'll just say it, Carrie, oh. you know, when you mess with the good. 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Roseanne <laughs> Bailey donated five dollars oh, through super chat. He man gave me the best pizza. dick the other no day. It was so good. Oh, thank you for the five, Roseanne Bailey. I appreciate the uh, support. Thank you, thank you very much. And, and Roseanne said an amazing comment here. Rev only showed the pizza. No sign of him getting a piece. Yo, you are right. You you are absolutely right. He and he showed it like all pre-made, like all. I'm surprised uh, a big ass piece wasn't taken out of it when he picked up the the, the top. <laughs> but you're you're 100 percent right. We, we we didn't see him take it out. We didn't see him even put it to his mouth. Uh, good uh, good on you for catching that. But thank you for the five. I do appreciate it. Yeah, because you know it. Like we all know it. This ain't the first time that Rev has. You know, gotten something and didn't get to eat it. People, you're gonna have the karma coming. Uh oh. Karma train. God don't sleep forever, Carrie. You get that, and your little demons it don't happen. Oh, by the way, that's a Shaney shirt he's wearing. Um, that was one of her merch shirts that, like, you know, you can't find them anymore, but they are. Hilarious if you can actually zoom in and see what they look like. God don't sleep forever, Carrie. You got that? And karma, did it hit you? I'm going to tell you this. And that's my wife right there. You see that? That's the beautiful Shani. That's girlfriend. That's been also ceremoniously... ceremoniously or unceremoniously taken away from the internets as well. Yeah, I wonder why. So this is the Reverend Duke. And I want you to know that Teddy Bear 55 rules. <clears throat> is this pizza right here? Oh, wait, 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 look, 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 look. <laughs> oh, look, right there is a peace gun. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it. Yo, there's a piece right there. Yo, you, you called it out. Like he's, you will not even see it. He's going to pick it up. Oh, yeah. Let, let's see him eat it, though. But yeah, I just noticed that there's like a little square. I guess it's a, what, a Sicilian? Whoa. Whoa, folks. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. That's probably all he gets, though. One bite, and everything else goes to Shani. That's it. Teddy Bear 55, sub him. Good individual. All right. Um, you know, all I'll say to that, all I'll say to that is, you know, when you have people like Rev and Shani, uh, you know, sticking up for somebody, that's just... <laughs> Not, not a good look, you know. <laughs> you will see why. So I, I, I'm just going to say that. I'm, I'm just going to say that. You know, uh, people, you know, like people need to learn things the hard way. You know? <laughs> There's certain people you don't want, you know, vouching for you, I'll say. But let's get back to this. When she's talking about misrepresenting my faith. Come on. Yeah, he got either one or in here. You either want her on here or you don't. You can't say... Well, well, we we need our shanty, we need our shanty, but you keep flagging her off of here, or something. And you know, Kathy, I I do agree. If anybody actually wants to like keep uh keep the uh the information going, make sure people know what's up, because I've seen Shane do it so many times. And you know, believe it or not, it's actually in the past two years that. It's actually stuck where she can't, she's like, oh, my God, I can't just go back and scam people. And another thing I didn't know, actually, until recently, until that one uh, older woman uh, came forward, I didn't know that Shani was going after people like older.
like you know 40s 50s 30s 40s 50s that's one thing but like 60s and 70s like she's literally take scamming from their uh, social security i didn't know shani was going that low like i didn't so i feel like that does need to be uh addressed and that needs to be called out there because like there's nothing wrong with Shani. She's obese. She can get a job. So can Rev. They don't need to uh, come up with this sad story where an elderly woman needs to, you know, can't get her medication that month because she's giving it to Shani. So Shani can go get Delta 8. Something keeps happening and she violates TOS and she leaves. Make your mind up. I'm one of the people that's actually happy she's not on Hey, Don, mind. what's up? That maybe she'll do something with her life. Maybe Rev will do something with their lives. Like Miss Star made a video. Miss Star was like, you know, where, where's where's Shani? I thought you didn't want her on here no more. I hey, thought you didn't Tree. want her on here no more. She's not on here no more. You won. She's been defeated. She's off of social media. Yeah, right. <laughs> and stop with the G-Man gave them a large sum of money. G-Man didn't give them 10 cents. And if you want to know why, go to her Twitch streams and go look at what this woman said about me. Then after you do that, go to Shabby for Christ and go look at what she said said about me. I don't had enough of Shani. And I don't had enough of Rev. So, so again, this video isn't for everybody. This video is for the that little minority that's out there saying that G-Man gave them this large sum of money. Uh, huh. I went on Ms. Star's YouTube channel and I went on her uh, on her comment section and they were saying it there. Uh, some, hey, what's up, Kelly? Some people in um, Drader's live chat was saying it. Um, it wasn't a lot of people. It was a couple of people. Um, it was just people in comment sections. I, I, I don't believe in that there are content creators, meaning there aren't channels. I haven't heard channel. I haven't heard the Geek Room or 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 drag up or or any other people say anything about um the g-man giving them money because i think people in here got more sense than that at least the content creators i've been on here long enough where i think my character is consistent enough where where people in here would know where i where, where enough's enough with me you know what i mean um there is a line that you can cross with me where things may never get repaired uh, here's the thing, Kiki. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that these are just trolls hoping that I would see their comments. But these things are, uh, are um, popping up a little bit too often for my liking. Uh, but I just want my <laughs> audience on this channel to know that um, that that I haven't given them no large oh, yeah. sum of money. I haven't even given them a dollar. Hey, two brothers. All so. right. There's a reason why I tease Jules when I, when I have the opportunity because I know I'm not giving them nothing. Um, if I did give them something, they would be on here bragging about it. They would be happy ear to ear. Quiet, they would not be. Because, you know, nobody told Shani and Red what to do. So, I just want to kill that noise with this particular video and show people the, 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 the logic of what it is that they're saying. You're saying that if G-Man gave them a large sum of money, Shani would be quiet. Shani had $750,000 at her disposal. That didn't keep her quiet. So why would she Jesus. be quiet if I gave them this large sum of money? Because the uncle, man, the uncle, maybe, you know. I, but again, I, can't, I, I can only speculate, you know. And I get you probably can't talk about that because, you know, the, the, the fine print and, the, you know, you want that house, to, you know, to be sold and, go off without a hitch and i understand that but i can see where people are coming from only because you said that not because people think that like you know you're some sucker <laughs> well maybe they think that too but what i'm saying is i you said that and now people are like well you said that you know i don't just go around giving around that kind of money that the, the g-man don't work that way i don't operate that way one iota i am a working man and i believe in work Hey, Talia. Hey, Nicole. What's up? I believe in work. I don't believe in sitting in your butt playing Nintendo all day and thinking that I'm supposed to be supporting you all the time. 
Yeah, right. I don't believe that. And before anybody say, well, G Man, they were living in your house and playing, yep, and they hurt my mouth too. They hurt my mouth. Uh, well, uh, thanks for saying it again, but <laughs> what, what, dude, uh, what, 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 what does that mean? Yep, yeah, and they hurt my mouth too. And they hurt my mouth. <laughs> I don't play that. <laughs> I work too hard. So, no, I have not given them a large sum of money. I have not done that. And the people who are saying that I gave them a large sum of money, just check your logic. Because you clearly don't know me if you believe that's what happened. And if Evangelist Ken was sitting next to me, the first thing he would say is, well, how much money do they believe that you gave? And then I would tell him he would bust out laughing because he knows me. He knows me all too well. And he knows that would have never happened. Only people who only been watching me for a little while would think something like that. Nobody who's been watching my whole YouTube career would think that way. I used to pay their bills, Hunter. I used to. I used to. I don't pay their bills no more. They need to pay their own bills. She ain't talking about some. Hey, Jimmy, I put them kids in your care. <laughs> uh, hold on. Before he keeps going with this, uh, Amethyst, I've I've heard this so many times, and uh, I'm not sure, but I have heard this like a bunch of times because you know even someone. As like his, you know, and I, and I don't want to speak ill of the deceased, you know, especially recently with recent events. Um, trying to have some respect for anyone who's lost anybody because you should, you know. But anyway, like his his mom didn't really set him up with life or life skills. So when she gave him all this money, he didn't know how to take care of himself. But I did hear that, you know, on several occasions that maybe she didn't give him everything, that there was something put aside that whether the uncle has it or something to give it out like on an emergency situation. Um, if I can, if I get any more information on that though, Amethyst, I will definitely uh, share it with you. Great, great, qu you great question though. As the test, uh, you have a man over there. That's his responsibility, not mine. Just saying. All right. So people got to take that into consideration. All right. You wanted her off of social media. She's off of social media. Don't blame me for that. Well, don't, don't. Well, if I say blame me a little bit, then I'm taking credit. If I say don't blame me, then I'm not taking any credit. So I'll put it to you this way. Um, go look at um, why their channels came down. I'll put it to you that way. So. Um, and whether or not they broke TOS or whether or not people got frustrated with them and reported them. I believe on Twitch, she got kicked off of Twitch because she showed her behind or a thigh. She got kicked off a of rumble because of e-begging, I think. Yeah, and again, this whole that whole rumble thing, I, I don't know 100% about. I've been trying to ask Rumble myself to get to the bottom of that. You know, I know it's with Twitch. It's, you know, they, they the rules change all the time, but... uh you know, it, it was pretty much, you know, like her nude butt and they don't want, they don't want that. No one wants that. <laughs> but uh, Rumble, I still need to look into because I can't believe that they would kick a, you know how many creators are on there that be like, uh, you know, my cash app, my PayPal. And I just can't believe that they would take that away. You know, or take, take her off the platform for that. I think she got kicked off of YouTube for banavating. Some people actually believe that I'm banavating. Yet they forget that my dumb behind deleted my own YouTube channel like a dummy, trying to hide it. And I deleted my own YouTube channel. So when I was going through all of the apologies, that I think that that might have been one of the things in that apology video. So uh, quick shout out to Lubis. Lubis, according to my Spanish lesson, I'm um, at almost 20% um, literacy. 20%. Okay. I will let you know when I get the 30%. Uh, yeah, and I actually report on that one time, and I, I made a mistake. I want to definitely uh, call that out here. I, I did make a mistake when I thought his channel was taken down because I said that, and then I found out he just privated it, and it wasn't taken down. So, yeah. And you know what? When If I make a mistake, I try to make sure 
that I even call that out. You know, no one, nobody's perfect, folks. So if I do that, I try to always make sure that I tell you guys like, hey, yeah, his channel wasn't taken down. I said that before, but I want to make sure I want to say it again to so, some new people. Because if you ever see that video, I did say his channel was taken down because it was gone. And then like two days later, the whole thing was back with all his videos. But anyway, thanks for hanging Learning out, guys. Spanish. Please like. Learning Spanish. But uh, that's about it. Uh, I got a little bit of bad news. Um, uh, tomorrow I was supposed to um, uh, uh, start this new channel idea that I had on this channel, but I'm not going to be able to do it. It's too much editing involved. So I got to um, do it hopefully next week, but I'm going to be doing it soon. I'm sorry, G-Man, but 2 plus 2 equals 4. Yeah, I know that. 2 plus 2 does equal 4. But G-Man giving them a large sum of money and them being quiet doesn't equal four. That's not a two plus two equals four scenario. If Shandy had a lot of money, believe you me, for her, it would be payback time. And she would get on here. Well, oh, guys, I went out to the hall and I bought this lipstick and I bought this eyeshadow, you know, and I bought me a new shirt. That's going to happen, though. <laughs> and, and and once again, you know, if they got any money from anybody, be a good big lump sum, that still does not give them a, a way to go out and make a bunch of videos. If the uncle said, "Stay off the internet, stay off," I'm sick of this. You know, unless Rev had all the money where he can buy that house, you know, right off the bat from the uncle, I don't see why. I don't see how well they'd be online. Or not necessarily. I would think they'd be online if she, they took that that small lump sum and went to uh, got an apartment or even a hotel. I mean, where they are, they could get a one bedroom, you know, for like six hundred a month. And you know, I don't know why. Then they could do all the streams that they want, right? So uh, I guess only time will tell. Somebody said they'll give money to Satan. <laughs> amen to that. Amen and amen. But anyway, I'm tired. I don't know if you guys can tell my eyes are red. I need to get some sleep. Some sleep. And uh, I just wanted to make this YouTube video let everybody know that no, I'm I have not given them any money so that they can waste it on getting high and all of this stuff and whatnot. No, I didn't give them no money. They're off of YouTube because you guys succeeded at your goal. That is why she's not on YouTube. It's as simple as that. And honestly, we may never see her on here again, or she may wait until the end of the month because you know, in Shani's mind, she believe she believes that all of these channels need her, and she'll be like, um, "I'm not going to go on there for a month, and we're going to see how much money they're going to make off of me." uh with reruns and everything and whatnot like i've been around them i know how they think so um if you don't see her in july she's gonna make you guys wait a good a good a good long time before she gets back on here and the, the other uh, thing is that she probably not on here because she can't afford the internet i believe for them to get the internet and get the the modem the, the modem and everything is 50 dollars, and then maybe their uh their laptop isn't working maybe they sold the laptop I don't no. believe they. I don't believe they'd sell a laptop. And again, that ten dollar internet, the uh, the government assisted internet, it's literally ten dollars a month, and they provide you with a modem. So again, ten bucks a month. If they had ten grand or whatever, even five grand, even a thousand, they would still be able to get back online. You know, or, or uh, were they using uh, the neighbor's Wi-Fi for a while as well? I mean. All I'm saying is there's ways for them to get back on the internet. They could they could they could uh stream from the cell phone, right? Use that as a hotspot too. But you guys can always do a wellness check to see how they're doing. And I assure you of this, if they had this large sum of money that I would have gave them, they probably would have moved out of the uncle house by now. You have the money, I'm sure of it. You have the money. You have them money, I'm sure of it. Or do you mean I gave them money? 
women, you gave, okay, he probably hit the H by accident. You gave them money, I'm sure of it. No, I didn't give them anything. You're free to believe what you want, but your logic doesn't make any sense. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that I did give them the money. Why would I need to get on here and lie to you about it? You want to keep it a buck fifty. Why would I need to come on here and lie about it? Well, I mean, like, you know, I, I don't know who who gave what what, but I would think because maybe you're getting some uh, whale blowback <laughs> from people, you know, because they don't want you cow tipping shame. You know, that's the only thing I could think. The only, the only thing I reason I would I would uh, see you doing that. But if it's really not true, man, then just ignore it. You know, people will make up their mind online no matter what you say, G-Man. But you know that. So I would say if, if they didn't do it, just say that. But uh, unless that's just you wanted to didn't know what else to make a video about. But I'm just saying if, if you didn't do it, just say you didn't. Or sorry, if you didn't do it, then just say you didn't do it and keep it moving. I'm just curious. Go ahead. For the person that says that you're sure I gave them money. In the live chat, tell me why would I need to lie to you about it? I need to get my laugh on. Come on, it's easy to come up with the idea. G man gave them money. That's why they're not on social media. This is Shannon we're talking about here, the biggest starfish on planet Earth. Uh, what money, uh, Roseanne? Um, well, G man. Okay, so if you don't know, so I'll, I'll assume you don't, and that's fine. A lot of people come in, they don't know all the situation. I've been uh, watching them uh, coming up on four years now, Shani and Rev, and, and kind of G-Man with everything. So I know a lot about their history, and I have a lot of uh, backups. But anyway, um, he gave Shani and Rev gave G-Man his childhood home because, A, he said he couldn't, Rev couldn't sleep there anymore. Because, you know, his mom, it was just him and his mom living there. And his mom was kind of, you know, real up with the conspiracy theories. And you know what? I feel like anyone can have a theory and talk and have a discussion. But she wouldn't take him to the, the doctor when he had a common cold or anything. He lived a very sheltered life. And apparently, even out of the words, out of this, the mouth of Rev Jason himself, after his father passed away, she really didn't want him leaving the house. So he didn't really have that many friends. So anyway, fast forward to a couple of years ago, he said some, um, I don't know if it was Rev that called him the N word or Shani did or both of them. But when they got cool again, Shani allowed, told Rev to gift him the house for a dollar. And he did. But G-Man says, and he showed pictures, the house was in crazy disrepair. Well, since then, he, he fixed it up. He, cut, he painted it this ugly smurf looking blue i mean it's, it's, i guess it was better than what it was before but he he fixed it so you could sell it you know as you know with an as is basis but he you know did the most important things like fix the roof because they left all the air conditioners on well, rev did when they they were living there for a while when shani got kicked out christmas eve from his, her parents that's a whole other story and um there was holes in the roof from like the water condensation condensation so he fixed that and a couple other things and sold it or is working on selling it. And he was saying that he could probably give Rev 10 grand from the sale of the home. And that's where all this money uh, is being talked about. So I hope that uh, answers your question. Please. Aries 106. Uh, now I know who's coming over here. Now I get it now. We got the Dragoons coming over here. The people with the IQ decide that the people with the IQ less than the spoon. That's why they say stuff like G-Man uh, gave them money, but then can't follow it up with any sound logic. Here we go. Because you got a house for free and she needs cash. Well, here's the thing. I didn't get the house for free. The first time I got that house, the house cost me money. The second time, it cost me even more money. See, here's the problem is, you guys see, G-Man purchased the house for a dollar, but mm. you don't see the, the 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 thousands of dollars I had to get spent to bring that place up to par. You don't 
Yeah, and that is true. Um, he had to put her in the house up to code, and there was a there was there was a lot of back rent or not back rent, back mortgage. You know, just back money that that uh, Rev was not paying. Jason, you know, Shane's boyfriend was not paying. So he may have gotten the house for a dollar, but then he also had the legal problems of paying that back payment, that back rent, and getting the house up to code. Don't see all of that. All you see is G-Man bought a house for a dollar. You know how much it costs to fix a roof? You know how much it costs to fix a porch? The entire porch floor, including the roof underneath the porch? Do you know how much it costs to replace sheetrock all over a house? Like, I don't think you guys know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't think you have the foggiest idea what you're talking about. Now, show me the logic behind me giving them a large sum of money and Shani being quiet about it. Show me the logic. Show me the logic. I need to get my laugh on. Show me the logic. This is Shani we're talking about here. This ain't no ordinary YouTuber. This is Shani. Did you do a threesome with them? No. Ew. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you do a no. That'd be a fivesome. No, I just realized what you said to me. No. <laughs> oh, man. Some people, man, you guys like, crack me up sometimes with these comments. <laughs> what what is up with that he's like no no then he kind of turns his head like he's like thinking about it for some reason i don't know maybe that's just me but like, you see that <laughs> like he's you know his his brain went somewhere you know for a second you paid them to be quiet how did that work out the last time they were there yeah these are all dragoons here because i'm noticing the, uh some of these people in here i know like Toby memes, Aries one hundred six, and again, like I, I agree with him here. Like, yeah, you can't pay, sh you can't pay Shane to be quiet. But if the uncle says to be quiet, otherwise you're out. I think they realize that they have no choice. Not, uh, you know, just putting that out, just throwing that out there. My opinion, all folks. Yeah, these are dragoons at this particular point. So these are the people I can't take very seriously. These are the, un the uneducated ones that are here. You lied about child abuse. Here we go. This has something to do with me giving Rev and Shandy money. This is what I'm talking about. Here we go. You lied about child abuse and giving them drugs. Your word doesn't carry much weight. Toby, are you serious, Toby? Is 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 that supposed to be a serious comment? Like, really? Didn't Dragnut just recently say that the only difference between Shandy and Sabella is 60 pounds? And I'm going to stick on that. I'm going to stick on that. Aren't you the same one, Toby memes, that offended scientist Sam when he went into the geek room and made that joke about George Floyd? I'm just saying, because if my word ain't worth nothing, what do you think I think about yours? If I'm not mistaken, you was the one defending him. Come to think about it, it was Frank Tatted, Drag. It was uh, just about all of them, pretty much. Getting back on topic, if we can get past your ADD real quick. Uh, why would I, why does it make sense that I would give them all of this money and they stay off of social media? You dragoons are ever so boring. Now, their comments should basically tell you the story. There is no logic behind it whatsoever. So the people that are saying that G-Man gave them a large sum of money, therefore they offer YouTube, need to go get their doctors, they need to go to see their doctor and take their and take their medication and go see their therapy. That's what they need to do. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll tell you what, uh, what these, um, what these, um, what these, because the, the people that are making these comments are the Dragoons. Like I said, they're trying to become rope. Let me stop calling them Dragoons, because honestly and truthfully, that would imply that they're following drag. 
And based on what I see drag doing, they're clearly not following that example. They're not going to school. They're not trying to better their lives. They're not, they're not trying to be a leader. They're not trying to do none of that stuff. So I got to get drag some credit because without, because ever since drag got away from them, they're nothing. And if drag went away for a little bit to prove that these people would be nothing, he made his point. He made his point well known. And when I say these people, I'm not referring to the following people. Carrie, Drader, uh, uh, I know some of you don't like them, Draven, and a couple of other <laughs> people. I'm talking. Oh, well, uh, good news, uh, shout out, bad news, where the hell did I do? <laughs> you know, uh, yes, they don't like what they call, what I call free thinkers, G-Man, free thinkers. <laughs> you know, sorry, I try to make people laugh, you know, and maybe maybe that's maybe that's an issue. You know, people got to be serious all the time. No. Nah. It's it's okay. It's all right, man. I am I get it. I I I I am not, you know, not everyone likes uh, you know not everybody likes puzzles. But for the people that do love puzzles, they love what I do. And that's all I'll say from there. What about when Dragnut was doing this all the time, there were channels. There were channels and there were channels coming over there doing what this guy told yeah, right? them to do. Ever since Drag oh, disappeared. Thanks, Everybody's been in shambles from the so-called Dragoon membership or whatever. So, what? Just saying. Are you kidding me? Well, hold on, hold on. But y'all got some bad logic on here, man. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, wow, this is almost done. I'm, I'm gonna uh, look that up and let me see. Long time ago, I was told religious people don't, don't have good logic. Yes, the heck we do. We got better logic than you guys. Because the bottom line is, if you give a gold digger a large sum of money, if you give a gold digger a large sum of money, that gold digger is going to make some noise. If you think that gold digger has all this money, call the uncle and see if she has all this money. It's real simple. Or go pay them a visit. I was going to do it and you guys talked me out of it. I was on my way to their home, and y'all talked me out of it. I said, G-Man, you probably shouldn't right, do folks. that, G-Man. Yeah, you know what? That is, that, that, that's good because, you know, <laughs> you know, like you guys were saying, it's just a lot of the same stuff, the same, you know. It's just like give us something a little bit, uh, you know. And I'm sure most of you guys have seen that video. Anyway, but hold on. Let me switch. Let me switch over to this because it, oh my God, see? And you know why Cyrax would be getting arrested? You know, allegedly, of course, is because he's a chomo. <laughs> and we all know it, folks. We all know it. That's, I don't cover just anybody here on Draymond's Curve. I cover people that abuse people, that abuse children, sickos. And I try to make sure that they're called out. But here, let's check this out, guys. That's it. Let it all out. Let it all out, Cyrax. I want to know why you did this to me. Because you're a child predator. Oh, 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 oh wow. Hold on, hold on. Oh, man. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh, he is done. Oh, what's wrong? Sorry, wrong one. Hell yeah. Bye bye, Cyrax. Okay, well, yes, he is. Come on, what, what about his father, Rupal, who changed his name to get off the uh, the the you know, the uh, the S offender registry? Come on, and what about when he was uh, what calling up the uh, that 14 year old a little bit ago, and also uh, when he was 20, uh, yeah, he fellatioed a blind boy named Billy who was forced to have him over his house. Yeah, there's, there's, you know, that plus t millions other uh, examples. Thank you so much, Cody, my brother, my brother, my boy, for uh, telling me this is, uh, this came out. This is great. Oh, so, tell that to the evidence that do you, speaks. Do you have uh, anything? Actually, this is public. Oh, yeah, this is public. Go. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just public. Go. Sir, you sir, go. sir, will you, you, gotta go. you need to keep him away from me. You gotta go. You're going to go to jail too, Ed? You're going to get that. Go. Look at Ed. <laughs> 
my god hey what is wrong yeah, with this you? is public oh uh, yeah yeah i'm just public go. sir you sir go. sir will you, you gotta go you need to keep him away from you me gotta go. you're gonna go to jail man look, look, look at ed respect my authority <laughs> can you say meth <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> but you know what uh, Ed, this is why you and and and, and Sally, his Cyrex's grandma, not his mom, his grandma, should move. The mo- the woman who owns this house does not want you guys there. You guys put have so many holes in the walls. This is important. Things need to happen. Just like Chris Chan had to go to jail, now Cyrex has to go to jail and drop the soap for some people because in jail they don't like uh, child predators. Jail too, Ed. You're gonna, get that You're gonna go to jail too. This is public. Don't make it worse. This is public. Not right here, eh? Uh, this is a public no, sidewalk. This is driveway. Back up before you catch work. a charge too. Baby. Oh, Cyrax. When you scream for help. Sure. Yeah. Man, I really need to know the context of. What happened? And damn, these police are huge. Yeah, come on, Cyrex. Why don't you, uh, why don't you call them a bunch of racist terms, huh? You know, right? F the police. <laughs> these guys would rip him apart. I'm just saying, in Minecraft. Wow, these police are huge. See, you know, and they knew. They knew they had to go down there and deal with him. But deal with the 43, as they call him. I'm sorry this is happening. This is a trial one for when they arrest you for being a pedophile. Oh, man. Man, yo, I gotta watch that again. I gotta watch that again. That's it. Let it all out. Yeah. Let it all out, Cyrax. I wanna know why you did this to me. Because you're a child predator. <laughs> okay, well, tell that to the evidence that do you, speaks. Do you have uh, anything? Actually, this is public. Oh, yeah, this is public. Oh, poor Cyrax. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yeah, hell yeah, he did. Again, I got no love for chomos, man. Y- you mess with kids, y- you know, you're messing with me. I will be a child advocate for every kid out there. Forget these these freaks. They need to know. They need to keep their hands to themselves. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just public. Go. Sir, go. sir, go. sir, will you, you, gotta go. you need to keep him away from me. You gotta go. You're going to go to jail too, Ed? You're going to go to jail too? Worse. This is public. Don't make it worse. This is public. Not right here, eh? Uh, this is a public no. sidewalk. This is a sidewalk. Back up before you catch work. a charge too. When you scream for help. When he oh. scream oh when he screamed for help. Oh when when you because you ran up on, on Marty and yeah, sure Marty beat your 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 chomo butt, but dude, seriously, you ran up on him and you had a mic stand in your hand as a weapon. That's why they didn't do anything, bro. Like seriously, you run up on anyone's house with a weapon. We think you're gonna do now. If you wanted to have what you said, a civil conversation with with uh, Music Biz Marty, you could have set you could have stood there by the fence. Now again, some people don't like that he attacked you. Some people love it. I, I don't. I could take a sit aside. I'm, and I just report things. But all I'm saying, man, Cyrex is all you had to do was stand at the the edge of the fe- at the other side of the fence. Now, if Marty would have walked over that fence and then and then hit you, then you would have been able. Then you would have had a, a charge, right? Then you would have had something to bring to the police. But because you ran uh, past the fence, you went on the threshold of where he was renting at the time. You were the one. You were the one at fault. Sure. Yeah. This is a trial one for when they arrest you for being a pedophile. Yes. All right. Oh, man, that made me feel better. All right, well, let's finish up with G-Man. But you know what? I really need to find out now. Maybe on the, on the, on the next stream, folks, uh, we can actually find out what happened with Cyrax. Where did y'all forget that, too? Oh, I forgot. The Dragoons are here. They don't, they're, they're not really hip to what's been said and wasn't said on this YouTube channel. So anyway, um. I think I've given enough attention to uh, to to the Aries and all these other people. So Bella, if you're in my um, live chat, oh yeah, right, and you still have a wrench, please uh, exit these people from the building. And I'm referring to the the, the uh, dragoons. 
if you are not in the chat uh cody on fed smoker is there the, the reason why he got busted i mean i i know of course because i'm in the greatest of, of uh groups but uh to everybody else is there a reason the uh, of why uh on on his channel they can stay here today i'll take care of that in my settings tomorrow i already know who they are because i got years of listening to them and when they talk they all say the same thing hey it's so, always again, yeah, see you uh, there what's up quick announcement quick announcement i was going to do a show tomorrow uh, with this idea that I have, something I want to do on a consistent basis, but I'm not going to... If you want to know what I'm doing, I'm playing around with my towel right here. All right? Okay, I have him smooth my little I was listening to... Um, as a matter of fact, the vast majority of the people that was watching me on YouTube is on Clubhouse now. A lot of people are abandoning YouTube. Like, like everybody's abandoning ship for uh, Clubhouse. Clubhouse is so great, it's not even funny. Oh, man, yo, G, man, yo, you got... Hold on, I think you got a booger on that, <laughs> on that right nose, Clubhouse. nostril. Clubhouse oh yeah yeah that's a booger we got a booger it's so great it's not even funny because <laughs> everybody that i've always wanted to talk to is on here and, and it's not like youtube where you gotta fight to get oh, them yeah, to come right? into your room when you go to clubhouse they're right there i don't talk to tazari out a million times now that's true i talked to so many people that i wanted to talk to so many different times it's not even funny that's why i'm like why do i need youtube when i can just go on here and even a lot of the atheists on there that i wanted to talk to uh tom rabbit was on there i saw xbox fiend i haven't seen him in a long time uh quite a few people hog Todd came into my room a couple of times so i find um clubhouse to be a lot more interesting and you can say more on clubhouse than you can say on um on youtube as well i love it i absolutely love it i got a um Aggressive discussion schedule that I was challenged to. I didn't challenge anybody. It's going to be on Sonata's YouTube channel in about a week if I can stay woke long enough to actually do it. Um, yeah, like I said, that's about it. All this stuff that me and Shani are friends again, and I gave them money. Y'all need to leave the drugs alone. Leave them alone. And maybe go look at my videos and go look at what I said about Shannon because I meant all of it. You don't get to come on and, and let this be a warning to people. Okay. You don't get to come on YouTube and say G Man gave me a death sentence. No, I probably and he doesn't shouldn't. care and he doesn't care and all this other nonsense of trying to manipulate me and then think I'm gonna turn around and be your friend again. It don't work that way with me. It does not work that way with me. All right, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say about that. Uh, I actually have something pretty interesting here. Uh, I'm going to have to edit it a little bit because uh, Shani says some stuff on it. I don't particularly want to be said on YouTube. But on my other phone during the first eviction saga, I actually have my, my um, voice messages when she was trying to kick me out of the house. I don't think you guys ever heard those before. I think I'm gonna play that on here. And the one text message that I seriously need to address, and I'm gonna bring uh, Dragnet on my channel, or or, or I'm, a, I'm at least gonna make the video and get him to respond to it. Because Shandy did make a very serious claim about drag. And it wasn't just drag, it was also about uh, Hannah. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, oh, nice, Shannon told me that Dragnut told her that it's almost done, but yeah, I will see you on the next one. Thank you for hanging out. Um, that I apparently violated somebody. Not only that, but uh, she also told me that Hannah Zubby, as well as Drag, told her th that I violated you. uh, Hannah. Now, if you go watch Shani's stream, I think it's the second or the third video she made a video called why do you hate me hana zubby goes in there and confronts her and makes her recant her statement jenny lied about a lot of stuff you guys just don't understand how deep this goes for you guys to just assume i was going to do that now i admit that i was going to do something with rev but there was conditions on top of it 
I don't want to give him something that I know he, that Shady's going to beat him up for and then have to give it to him. I'm sorry, give it right. to her. I'm not doing that. The condition is if he wants anything from me, he has to get away from Shannon. He knows that. That's never going to happen, though. But if he's going to continue to be stupid, if he's going to continue to be gullible and dumb, then he's not going to get nothing from me. Period. He's not going to get nothing from me. The people that watch this channel regularly knows this stuff. The people that are coming over from the geek room and all you oh, yeah, people, right, Cody? who don't know anything as usual are going to be the ones that are going to come over here guessing and assuming and don't know anything. And so, um, for those of you out there who miss Shani and Rev, mm -hmm. and you want them back on social media, now, me and some other people in here are in the know, and we know that they probably can't even afford their internet. Okay? The yes. smart people understand that. So, the people that miss Shandy so much, all you got to do is all you got to do is send her 50 bucks. Send Shandy 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks, and ask her to come back on social media. On, on, on social media. That's all you got to do since you miss her so much. I'm not giving it to her because I don't miss her. <laughs> and I don't want them back on here. But you're 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 right, Cody. I I, I think he is uh, he is talking like a drunk pimp. <laughs> and I, I don't I don't I don't know I don't know why. You're ugly. You're oh, that wrong one. Uh, where, where's drunk? Sorry. Oh, right here. I'm not sure what benefit you got out of being a drunk pimp. I do. I don't know. I've been asking that question this whole time. What benefit did he get? I guess he got the house, right? <laughs> You know, it is what it is. But um, just wanted to make this video. At least there's a video out there where people hear my side and they hear that G-Man didn't give them anything. If you hear people saying that G-Man's lying and that G-Man did give it to them, that is called a positive claim. I know, Donna. If you know so much, after I told you that's not the case, the burden of proof is on you to prove to everybody that I'm lying. If you can't do that, be careful. Just be careful. All right? Because then you're entering the, the realm of slander. Because I told you over and over and over and over again, I didn't give them nothing. So. Just hurry. I didn't give them anything. <laughs> but like I said, if I did, you would probably see Shanty standing right here and Rev standing right here. Yeah. And it'd be smelling so bad. I mean, allegedly. I wouldn't even play games about it. I used to. But I assure you, no, oh, what's happened with this not gonna video? Happen. It's not going to happen. And like I said, for those of you out there who like having these elongated conversations and want to try to expand your channels, I'm telling you, go to Clubhouse. Clubhouse is absolutely awesome. Not really all I, I, never, I never even heard of Clubhouse. So maybe I'll check it out. I have been thinking about branching out into other places because YouTube, and they've even told me themselves and a lot of other creators that they, they want to get away from reaction channels, creator channels, even channels like mine that half reaction, half I tell jokes to be funny. You know, they really want to just get away from that because too many people get crazy out there, you know, and you see how people act. Then, then you know, it's too much of a liability for Google. They, I don't think they want to deal with it anymore. You know, so they're just shadow banning all of us, you know. But he wants to debate me, so we're going to go do it on Sonetta's channel. I ain't even thinking about my channel. I like the fact that I only got like 10 people watching now. I don't know who Sonetta is. Channel because in order for me to get a lot of people to watch, I have to constantly... Constantly, constantly, constantly get into a you know a, a, a thing where I got to debate, and after a while it just gets tiresome. It just gets tiresome. But again, for those of you out there who are saying that Shani is a terrible person, and I agree, by the way, she's a terrible mm -hmm. sinner. Um, she's not on social media no more. You won. Yeah, it should not be a big shocker that she's not on here no more. Yay. <laughs> all right. Pretty much all I want to about that. Get your copy of uh, this book. Why you still got time? Oh, it the Tento. The Tento Gold. The Tento Saga, done by this author. And by the way, autograph. By the he author. got an autograph copy. Yeah. Uh, somebody was talking about that. Uh, reach out with me in Discord, and I will. Uh, I I'll send you an email. Okay, that's all I'll say. <laughs> And you can get this for 25 cents. 
25 cents. And we still got the lightsabers and all that other stuff that we got to talk about, which I have no need for. We can talk about, but I don't know. I might keep the lightsabers. We'll see. Still thinking about all of that. They probably stink. Right. Later. All right. All right. All right. But then on that note, wow, so much stuff happened. But like, uh, like I said, um, I definitely want to know what happened with uh with the whole with the Cyrax stuff. But I guess that video is gonna have to wait for the next one. But seriously, for real, if anybody, I know some people want a copy of uh Tento Saga, um, reach out to me on my Discord and I will, I'll hook you up with that. Okay, that's all. I'm, like I said, that's all I'm gonna say. You know, but just reach out to me and I can help you out. But that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for hanging out. I love your support, and you guys are awesome, and I like having a nice, intelligent group, uh, a nice, intelligent community. But guys, that's it for tonight. That's my end credits music, and you know when they hear that, mo that, that music, you know what's happening next. My goodbyes, my thank yous. Please check out the links below. Consider becoming a member. Please like the video on your way out. Share, subscribe. Um, I do this for fun. I make jokes. I try to give you everyone uh, something to laugh at. Um, and that's really it. And I hope you guys got something good out of this and something positive. Uh, have a nice uh, rest of your week next week. And I will see you all probably on Wednesday. And then we can go more into this. And like I said, there's going to be uh, a Shamu, a S-H-A-M-O-O. Uh, collab with him coming on my channel and we could find out some of that Thorpe stuff and, as well as some other things. Who knows? You know, but I want to have some fun things and then maybe Friday we'll have our terror reading. But that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for hanging out and like I said, links below. Consider donating or just leave a like. Either either or. But that's it. Bye guys. Be, be kind to yourselves and each other, okay? And seriously, you know, Give the, the people in your family, give them an extra hug, you know, because you never know. You never know. All right, guys. Love you all. I'll see you later.